Hello friends. It is early in the morning. Got my bag packed. Got my purse, purse packed. Oh, I need some ice water, babe. And then we're ready to go. I'll explain to you in the car where Jason and I are going at the ripe time of 8.15. Actually, it's probably like 8.20 now. But I've got my computer bag packed. And he has his com computer bag, a work bag or whatever, done down there. I'm gonna get some water and a mint. And then I'm off and ready to go. You ready to go? We're gonna go in his car. Our bags. He's not cleaning out his car to make sure I don't get mad about how messy it was. Mm-hmm. passing by. Life is good. Best I've ever felt. So it turns out I'm a sucker for spending time with you. <laughs> I do like spending time with you, and the reality is that where we're going and how quick we'll be able to turn around and come back home. The kids will probably still be asleep by the time we actually get back home. What do you want to bet? At least half the kids are still asleep. Oh, they're all asleep with that. Yeah. It's 9 o'clock. They're not up. Yeah, they're not up. So, where are we going? Tacoma Convention Center. Tacoma Convention Center. That's not the Tacoma Dome, is it? Is that the I same thing? I think so. The WWSRA. What does that like stand for? Western Washington Retailer Association, maybe? Okay. Shoe show. That's where we're going. Normally it's in Portland. We also have done it in Lake Chelan before. No. The pack them up? We haven't done that. Have they not had it in Lake Chelan? No. Lake Chelan is the podiatry. Oh, that's the, convention. that's the doctor convention. That's the doctor We haven't done that one in a long time. So, I am going with him. One, because I already had a crappy night's sleep and I already was awake at 6 in the morning, at 4 in the morning, and 2 in the morning. So why not get up and come with him? Battery's flashing, hang on. Okay, have a new battery. So what I figured was that I could get up when he got up to go to this convention and just go and start working on my computer because I just, I was not sleeping. Or I could stay in bed and waste all that time and still not be sleeping or, you know, and whatever, and but not be productive. Or I could just go with him, be awake, hang out with him in the car, and then edit while he's at his convention. I've got my computer back here charging. When he's done, we can grab a bite to eat. Maybe I can find a bed bath or a bath and body work store down here. I just thought of it. Not, I know, man. You're using me for the HOV lane. I'm not using you for the HOV. I'm not hunting for this. I know, I can't find it. I even had my sister try and find it down at two stores in at, in Utah. And we can't find the Waikiki Beach coconut, but they want $12 for shipping. And I'm like, I'm not gonna spend $12 for shipping for two bottles of lotion. It's gonna double, triple the price for the lotion. So. Shipping costs a lot nowadays. It does, and that's fine. I'm not gonna waste the money on shipping. But regardless, we'll get lunch, we'll hang out. There's not much to do in Tacoma, so it's not like we're here for the afternoon. And then we'll just head back home, and then I guess you're taking the day off. Yeah. Part of the nice thing about having an employee who is there for us, she's like, don't come back to work. Just stay home, hang out with Dana, hang out with the girls. I wish it was the day we actually could go to the beach, but it is not. It is a balmy 60 something degrees outside. 57. 57. That's fabulous. We were 95. Northwest high cloud time. <sighs> so, that's what we're doing. Perfect and, vampire weather. Yes, exactly. Um, so, join us. We should be up to no good today. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man, passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in Okay, this is where I leave you And I'm going to go to the tables over there You have fun, you can check back with me if you need I will check back He's got his little map His little, I got my own little badge 
You're official. I'm official. Okay. Right. Go have fun. See you in a bit. There's only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. It's a newbie. All right. You had a good time? Yeah. You got some Patagonia, what is it called? Uh, lightly smoked venison links. Is it good? Yeah, it was like good beef jerky kind of thing. I have to show what else you got. I got something cool. I'll show you here when we get to the car. All right, Jason's texting the other owner who's coming down tomorrow. I'll show you what I got. I got this cool headband from Buff. They just gave it to me super cool i actually had one like this i don't know where it went but i wear these headbands when i'm swimming i wear them in hawaii all the time to like not get sunburn on my forehead i always get burned on my forehead and along my like hairline she let me pick this one out which is super cool and you have all your little stickers thing of stickers a whole, a whole slew of stickers are you gonna keep any of them or are you just give them all I'm, I'm gonna put them on my water bottle i'm gonna give some to shane okay uh you know just cool little stickers yeah. now i'm gonna go and find Bath and Body Works. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Not quite hungry yet. Or unless you are. Are you hungry? I don't. This venison is keeping me. <laughs> Got your venison. Got my venison. It's so actually not bad. They're actually really good. I had some. It's yeah. pretty good. It's from Hawaii. It made is? with wild Hawaiian axis deer. Wow. Did we even see deer when we were in Hawaii? I bet you they're just on like some range or something because I don't think they're, they probably brought them there. They look kind of African. Hmm. Weird. You actually learned something about the deer. So the deer are not native to Hawaii. They are invasive. And so they team up, Patagonia teams up with this organization on Maui to harvest the deer because they eat up all the vegetation and stuff. So they go and limit the population. And then instead of just throwing it away, they turn it into this venison. Little links. smoky link. Yeah, little little uh, venison beef jerky. Cool. It's just not beef. And uh, so it's good trail stuff. We're in business to save our planet. Wow. And it's Maui, my favorite yeah, island. So it's kind of cool. Um, That just happened. So that's going to happen. You're going to make that happen. Right? Your girls would... They will love they you will if you love it. I'll get them. Yeah. Okay. So we found oh, Bath and Body Works. We're gonna oh. head there. He won't let me get a bag. Whatever. What are you talking about? We offered you a bag. I, know. I just don't want you to get a bag because then you'll buy more. I know. <laughs> you'll fill it. So, so I'm getting the coconut pineapple spray because I don't have it in lotion. Happy vibes for Abby. And then I'm gonna try this Baham Bahamas passion fruit and banana flower. I'm worried about the banana scent. I don't do banana, but I think it's mild enough. Then I had to, I had to just go with this one. It's a spray. Cause it's a must. Oh, but I have one more. I'm holding one more. Yeah, that's why they want you to get a bag so you don't accidentally. <laughs> what? I got the shower gel. At least I'll come out smelling good. without getting lunch because I forgot that I actually had a therapy call. It went kind of okay, that's all I'll say. But I'm starving and I forgot that it was Wednesday and what did I promise you on Wednesday? I don't promise you anything. I promised her Red Robin. Why? I did, the other day. Maybe I didn't need to do the promise. She doesn't even remember the promise. Maybe I don't need to actually like uphold the end of my promise. But these cookies oh, are super good. This lime coconut one, or lime, what was it? Lime, I don't remember uh, what it was. Uh, not um, coconut, just lime. Do you like the little Oreo cookie one? Do you want him to keep one or two of these? you want this one and, and have him give those two away or do you like that kind? Um, I don't know, we have to see. 
We have. We have to try. <laughs> no, they're all the same, but you have to see if Charles you like it. It's true. But the lime one is my favorite. Um, I already know I like the chocolate chip. Okay. This one is like, it's okay, but it's not like this one right here, the Oreo one, is okay. This one is probably going to be my favorite. It's, it's like, really it's uh, brownie with peanut butter and uh, chocolate. Oh. Those are my favorite flavors. I probably won't do this other like double chocolate one. Oh, I just got freaking <laughs> chocolate all over my hand. Okay, you ready to go? Cold out there, huh? Want a sweatshirt? I need a sweatshirt. Yeah. That's a little. I forgot to take one with us, and I needed it. I mean, after all, it's toward the end of July or end of June. End so of June. I need a sweatshirt. I know. <laughs> okay, so I opened up my app to make sure that Wednesday was in fact the day for half off kids oh, yeah, meals. Oh yeah, that's what you said. And anyway, so I opened up my email to check on that deal to see if I could still do it. I think I still can. I think I can use both of them at the same time. But then I noticed. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Neighbor was like, "Why is she holding the camera?" And she looked at me like three times. Anyway. So, it is it is weird. I understand. It is very strange. Um, so, my, my story keeps getting interrupted. So, I was looking at it and I typed in Red Robin to do a search to see if I could find the little advertisement that gave me the idea. And I got an email from, or I saw one that popped up that said Bloodworks, which is where I donate blood for, from, Bloodworks Northwest. And I was like, well, that's really weird. Why would it pull up that email for Red Robin? So I clicked on it and I earned a $15 reward from donating blood. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's fantastic. It was probably from the last time I went and that's probably why, I mean, I sign up every eight weeks. Like it's not, like I get an email and it says, do you want to sign up right now? And I sign up and I go. And so it's not anything unusual for me to like go or whatever. And so, that was kind of a fun surprise, so I think our meal is going to be free today. That's fantastic. Um, also, I have a fun idea to do in our upstairs closet. I was just telling the girls about it. I was trying to explain it to Jason. It's a complete overhaul of all of our games and board games and all of our toys. Like, a complete overhaul. And condensing and get, getting rid of and organizing, and it's going to be completely different completely different and so I'm gonna do a separate video of that I need to order some supplies on Amazon so let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in seeing that because game organization is no joke and toy organization is no joke so if you're interested in that kind of stuff but we're keeping half the toys well I'm keeping half the toys yes I am also I'm the toys themselves I'm keeping as uh, like grandma toys like I'm legit keeping them for my grandkids. Like, these guys don't play with them. They don't play with, you know, the big blocky Legos. They don't play with My Little Ponies. We what else do I have? Sometimes too, for jokes. I have like all the Disney <laughs> animal characters, um, like the little teeny ones that I used to collect. I have Lincoln Logs and Tinker Toys. They're classics. And I don't want to get rid of them because I don't want to buy them again when I have grandkids in five, 10 years or whatever. And I've stored them really, really well and they've been kept nice. So I'm just gonna tuck them away. But there's there's just so much to organize and it's gonna create a whole new space to be able to put all new stuff in. So you're just gonna stay tuned. I'm just gonna tease you because it's gonna be really good. I've been relaxing here on the couch for a few hours. I won't, I won't lie. It's been kind of nice. But um, Kaylee and her boyfriend and their friend went to a late graduation party for their friend who lives up the street. Um, his parents were having a little dinner with all their friends and so that was nice for them to get to go and do. And then um, a few hours ago, Jason took Ashley and Chelsea and Abby 
Is that right? Yeah. Over to his brother's house. His brother has been living out of town about an hour, hour and a half outside of town for the past couple years. And uh, they're selling their current home that they have been renting out here in town. It's the house that we remodeled together. We lived in it for almost three years together, all three of us. So um, and Kaylee. Kaylee was one when, we moved down, one when we moved into that house. And anyway, it's <coughs> very end of the market to sell a home, but they are trying to sell it. And Jason went over to help them paint because their realtor told them you need the entire house repainted inside now they only have like only like two rooms two rooms to do yeah so jason went worked with them for a couple hours and then dropped them back off at home so they could get something to eat and go to bed and then he went back over to his brother's house which is where he's still at um and then he's gonna come home and go for a run but it is nine o'clock right ashley what time is it 9.05. And um tempted to go to bed, but I haven't really had dinner because I'm kind of off my schedule of normal eating patterns. And so I'm not feeling hungry, but I know if I go to bed, then I will feel hungry like an hour later. So I'm just kind of waiting up for a little bit. I'm going to have some more of that chicken and broccoli just because it's already made and it's always. Um, but I might just end this video with you guys. We had a really good day. We had I had a lot of fun with Jason. I was actually surprised. Not surprised that I didn't have fun with Jason, but like, or that I had fun with Jason, but that I was able to get stuff done while he did his little shoe show. You might have noticed um, there was more than just shoes. Actually, I only showed things that were not shoes because <laughs> those are the things that were interesting to me because I already know the brands that Jason sells. And so I already know what we get and he always shows me the new catalogs of what we're going to bring in for the next season. And so I already know a lot of that stuff. And so it was fun for me to look at the other gear that was being sold. It was more of an outdoor retail scenario. And so it was kind of fun to look at the other stuff. Maybe that was kind of confusing. I didn't really explain that. So yes, they had shoes there and most of the shoe reps were kind of on one end and then the rest of the store was all, or then the rest of the convention center was all like outdoor gear, Black Diamond, um, Tavu or Kavu. Um, what are the other companies? I can't remember, but so many companies were there. And Jason wishes that he could do a store with that kind of stuff because outdoor gear is his game. He loves that kind of stuff. And I told him today, I was like, well, maybe in a couple years, you kind of have a second store and it's more like hiking, running, outdoor gear type stuff and sell that kind of stuff. He used to work at Marmot Mountain Works down in Bellevue uh, when we first lived here, when he first lived here and then when we first got married. And that's all it sold was outdoor gear. And it's gone on now and there's aside from like REI which does like everything it'd be kind of nice to have something more specific you can come in and get you know a fit for the right hiking shoe or the right kind of gear or anyway I think that would be kind of cool oh he's right here speaking of which want to say hi oh it's really orange over there hang on one sec I'm just ending ending our day but you do okay over there yeah I just moved a bunch of rock got sick of painting yeah I don't want to <laughs> But the moving rocks was helping them, right? Yeah, oh, totally. They got to do it. They got to get everything done by tomorrow or something. That's ridiculous. It's not going to happen. I don't. I should have just not painted certain rooms and stuff. I mean, come on. Blue room, white room. People will buy the house if they want. Yeah, they will. Okay, so I'm just going to end here. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. We got, I'm, some, got some money for the girls. Oh, did they pay them? Yeah. They didn't have to do that, but that's no. nice. Their aunt wanted to pay them. That's very nice. So you, you say thank you to your aunt in case she watches. We'll send her a text message, okay? So now you have more than $100. We might go to the beach tomorrow. It is our first official beach day. I just posted a Facebook poke to my church group of friends, which is the, my main group of friends that I go and hang out with, especially at the beach. And I was like, hey, who's in? Because I like to go with friends and they like to go with friends. And so Chelsea and Ashley are going to invite one or two of their friends to go with us. And then I'm trying to get my girlfriends to come and join me. So I have someone to talk to on the beach because I'm looking forward to just sitting in the sand, not in the sand, at the beach warmth on my skin. I want to get some color and just be outside and chat with friends. Stay tuned for that. Hopefully we go. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. So take care. See you guys next time. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.